I love this hotel. We had a great time, we rested and I had a hot shower. And now we are ready for the first meeting, a revival meeting. And uh, it's a 40 minutes drive. So it starts 8.30, but it's not so hot anymore. So it's quite windy, still warm, but uh, we are ready for service. And we believe that God has given us a word for tonight. We have songs for tonight. And we are tonight available to be a blessing and a encouragement for the body of Christ here in Havana, Cuba. Going to church on a Sunday. to say thank you for coming tonight to this meeting. For a Monday night it's very special. That's why I believe that God will bless you, will heal you, will give a special touch for you. Amen. Faith is an action. And you acted to be here tonight in this church. And we have been already many, many, for many years in Cuba. But we've never been in your beautiful church. And we thank the leadership and the pastors for inviting us. And I believe that if we are one in the spirit that God can work out marvelous things. Tonight God will do miracles. God will set people free, will heal people. And for those who are not sure whether they, their name is in the book of life, God wants to save you. And you will feel happy and peaceful as never before.
says when they were rejoicing and singing like you tonight in the middle of the night. God did a miracle. And the, the director and his wife of the prison and his family, they all got saved. I know many of you, you go through hard times, you go through testing and trials. But moaning and complaining is not the answer. Maybe it's midnight for you. Maybe there are problems in your family, in your marriage. Maybe there's a physical challenge in your life. But if the devil cannot steal your joy, he has to give back what he has stolen from you. Amen. Sing, sing, sing. Cante, cante, cante. This is the key for victory. Esta es la clave para la victoria. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He lived and died. He and forgive he bled and died to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my Jesus lives because he lives you can sing it in Spanish
that Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. And by his spirit, by his spirit, he is in our midst. You cannot see him with your physical eyes. But the Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name. He is in our midst. Tonight God wants to do a miracle for you. You see, the church has lost their desire to see miracles. They say, when I'm sick, I go to a doctor. Instead of seeking God for their problem. We respect doctors. Doctors are fighting the same symptoms as we do. So doctors, they hate sickness too. But where the doctors cannot do everything, God says, hey, I am able. I, I am able. Didn't I say what is impossible with man is possible with God? And God is alive and he loves to do miracles in your life. Pastor John, the Bible says that the first Christians, they were, they were going through hardships and pains and persecution. And the religious world in their times, they said, I want you to shut up and don't say and speak about the name of Jesus. The religion always wants to stop the work of God. But I'm so glad the first Christians didn't want themselves to be controlled by the religious world. And the Bible says in the book of Acts 4, 429 they started to pray if you go through problems pray so the first Christians they prayed what did they pray they said Lord we are going through person and through persecution but Lord give us the grace to speak your word with boldness and that you will stretch out your hands so that miracles and mighty signs will occur the first Christians they wanted to see miracles and if you are hungry to see a miracle in your personal life then God will not disappoint you but you have to persevere you have to persevere don't give up don't give up on your dream many years ago when we got married we got married in 1974 and I had one big desire to have my own son to have my own boy but years passed by nothing happened then we went to see the best doctors in the hospitals in Holland 
en Holanda. And for six long years, y por seis años, they worked on our body. Ellos trabajaron con nuestro cuerpo. They did so many tests. Ellos hicieron tantas pruebas. And one day, y un día, we had to see the doctor. Fuimos a ver al doctor. And he said to us, y nos dijo a nosotros, Mr. and Mrs. Neville, sit down. When the doctor says sit down, it's not good news. <laughs> so we sat down. And then he said, we have tried to do everything to get your wife pregnant Para que tu salga but it is impossible Pero es because she is totally barren ella es and we were crying out our hearts were aching all our hope in one moment destroyed the doctor said it's impossible <laughs> so we went through a very very a dark period of weeping and, and, and confusion but then one night we were reading the Bible this is a book full with power and then we read the words of Jesus where he says what is impossible with man is possible with God hallelujah and then we thought the doctor said it's impossible. And, but God says it is possible. So we started to pray. We said, Lord, you are a God of miracles. And we went on believing. And for 20 years, for 20 years of marriage, nothing happened. And then we were in Cuba. And Afi had a bladder infection. She went to the hospital in Havana. You, you took her. You took her to the hospital. She had so much pain. And then they gave medicines. But Avi, she didn't miss out on any meeting. She blessed the congregation the people with their songs in Spanish and when I was preaching she was in a side room and oh, she had so much pain so then we flew back to Holland and then she said I'm going to see the doctor I go to the hospital so they put a scan on her belly and then the doctor said there is a nasty infection near the bladder and I'm going to give medicines for it but there is something else she said huh? what is it and then he said you are pregnant you're going to have a baby Gloria Dio after 20 years after 20 years God gave us our son and I'm so glad that for the first time we took our miracle son with, this to, with us to this church really 
His name is Samuel. Samuel, please stand up. This is our son. Hallelujah. When I was four years old, uh, sleeping in my diapers in Bussum, uh, this uh, car was brand new. <laughs> it was